Um, okay, so uh, for the, uh, for the uh, next couple of weeks, we're going to be uh, 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 changing a little pace. Uh, we're going to introduce a couple of uh, several technologies uh, that uh, together are going to uh, make up what it's called, what is commonly referred to as the mean stack. All right, uh, not uh, not any any attitude or anything. It's just uh, it's just an acronym of uh, four technologies that uh, work very well together. Um, it's not it's a, it's not a real. Uh, some folks refer to it as a framework, uh, but it's not really a framework. A framework typically. Uh, you, you know, the, the different components or pieces would be aware of each other. Instead here, uh, uh, the, 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 the components that make up the mean stack are not really aware of each other, right? They're just, they would just, there are four different technologies that work very well together, okay, but uh, not necessarily are uh, aware of each other. Uh, so the mean stack is, a, it's an acronym. It's a, uh, the M stands for MongoDB, right? That's a, so we're going to slowly transition from MySQL uh, over to MongoDB. Uh, the, uh, the E in, the, in mean uh, sta uh, stands for uh, Express. Uh, Express is a, um, uh, is a library. It's a Node.js library uh, that uh, makes, makes it very, very easy to uh, build uh, web services. Right? So, so just like in uh, Java, uh, you, you, you do an at get uh, mapping or post mapping or delete mapping, right? and it allows you to uh, map a URL and execute some code on the on the on the server side. That's what Express is. Right? That's the equivalent, uh, but it's a Node implementation as opposed to a Java implementation. Okay? Uh, the A in the in mean is Angular, and that's the first part that we're going to introduce today. We're going to introduce Angular for this for this coming week, and slowly uh, next week we'll introduce Node.js and Mongo and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, so this this week we'll introduce Angular. We're going to have uh, replace the um, the focus of React for the last couple of weeks. We've been doing React. Uh, we're going to replace that with Angular. Uh, Angular will be just like React is is a, a client side library for rendering uh, dynamic uh, pages on the front end. Uh, Angular does the same thing. It uh, allows you to dynamically uh, render um, uh, client side applications uh, on a browser. Right. Uh, um, uh, Node.js and the N in mean uh, stands for Node.js, right? And so uh, the Node, we've actually been using Node.js already uh, you know, to host our, our React applications, to run our npm inst um, install or npm start. That's actually starting the Node.js Node server, right? That is hosting our applications. Uh, but we've been you know, just only using it as a host platform, right? To host our applications. Now. You know, we're going to build uh, full Node.js applications, right? Uh, an actual code that runs and executes uh, JavaScript, but on, on the server, right? Um, uh, all right, so, so we're first going to be looking at Angular for the next week or so. Right? We're still going to be using uh, the same uh, server-side Java, um, JPA, MySQL. That, that stays the same, right? So we're still going to be using that. Uh, for the client, uh, we're not going to look at the faculty application anymore. Right? We're going to leave that for a little bit. Uh, in, and instead, we're going to switch over and start looking at implementing the, the student side of our whiteboard uh, uh, online course management system. Okay? Um, so, so this first assignment, this, this, uh, this uh, first of several assignments, um, uh, walk you through implementing that part, what the student sees. Right, just, so instead of the faculty, they can, they can edit, uh, they can add new modules, add new topics, add a whole bunch of widgets. Uh, from, the, from the student's point of view, they're only going to be consumers of the data. Right? They're going to be able to read courses, uh, read modules, read uh, uh, topics, read all those, these widgets, and they're only going to have a read-only um, uh, access to that content right? as, a, as a student. They can, they can look at the course, but they can't do any modifications. Right? Uh, so, that, so that's going to be our introduction to Angular. Uh, Angular is going to uh, connect to the old, to, to the existing Java server. It's going to read all that data. It's going to render the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the course, the topics, the widgets from the student's point of view. Make sense? All right. Uh, in the uh, next week, uh, we'll introduce Node.js and Mongo uh, so that uh, the, 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 the student will be able to make changes. Right, well, not make changes to the to the to the content. Right, only a faculty can make changes to the content, but the student also can generate data. Right, they can they can fill out a form, they can take a quiz, 
uh, submit an assignment. Uh, they too can generate data. Right? Uh, but that data, we're not going to store it in our uh, MySQL database. Right? It's not going to be posted to our, to our Java server. It's not, not going to be stored in a, in a MySQL database. Instead, it's going to be posted, this new data is going to be posted to a Node.js server, and it's going to be stored in a MongoDB database. Make sense? So our Angular application is actually going to be using two servers. You know, it's going to be using our Java server as a read-only right, for rendering purposes, the, app, the, the content, yes? Right, it's not going to be posting anything, only a read-only. And we already have that, right, so we don't have to do anything. Right? We already have a, you know, a read, a course. We already have that API, yes? Okay, from the previous assignments, we already have that. Uh, but it's going to be posting data to a new server, the Node.js server, right? as, as, as students uh, take a quiz or, or submit an assignment or, or whatever. Yes? Make sense? You know, so that's, that's going to be the next couple of weeks. And that's what we'll be focusing on. First. Uh, this first week is just the Angular part. It's just the Angular part. Okay. Uh, okay. Excellent. So, uh, so this has a short description on uh, on what mean, uh, what the mean uh, stack is. So I encourage you to read up on that. Um, uh, so it's going to ask you to uh, to recreate a little bit uh, what uh, we had earlier. Uh, the the the, uh, the home page. There's going to be a home page. Uh, which is going to list, it's going to do a read-only, right? It's going to do a read-only uh, uh, from, uh, from uh, the, the, the course API that we already have in Java. It's going to read those courses. So that the student is going to be able to enroll right? and say, I'm going to enroll in a, in a particular course, right? I wanna, I wanna, perhaps there will be a section, right? And, uh, and depending on that section, I'd like to be able to enroll myself in that particular course, right? Uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, recreate a uh, registration page. Uh, and a login page, uh, and a profile page. So very much like what we did in the first assignment, uh, we'll, we'll recreate some of that. Um, uh, uh, I, hmm. Create out there a second. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, we would like to be able to uh, have the same admin page that we had earlier. Uh, we're going to be adding a couple things to that, right? We're going to be adding the capability of an admin user uh, to 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 look at the courses, right? Uh, but for a particular course, add a section. Just open up a section you know, and, and and give it a name, uh, give it how many seats are available in that section, uh, and so that a student can enroll in a particular section, okay? Uh, and then you, you implement a, a a a student section. A student section will be able to uh, list all the students that enroll in that section. A student, from the student's point of view, they, they, they'll be able to see, oh, these are all the sections I'm enrolled in. Okay, so if I, if I log in from my, from, in my property, in my uh, profile page, I should be able to see uh, which sections I'm enrolled in. Okay. Um, the, uh, the courses, modules, and lessons, so this is, this is a read only, you're going to read only the courses, right? You're going to read only the modules, the lessons, and you're going to render it. And it'll, it'll look exactly the same way what you already have, right? So if you already have HTML and CSS that you already use in, uh, in, uh, for the React part, right, that you've already styled this, feel free to reuse all, all that, okay? All that HTML, all that CSS uh, that you already styled uh, for, uh, for React, you know, feel free to just you know, copy all that HTML, all that CSS over uh, to, to re-implement this, right? So this is, uh, this is a read-only, so any forms, any um, any any buttons that you had there, you can remove all those, right? Because, because the student is not going to be able to edit any of this, right? It's only a read-only uh, to for, for that, right? And it should look like it should look like you know what what uh, what you already have, right? The same styling, the same layout, you know, the, the particular course, the list of modules on the left, uh, the list of um, of, of uh, um, what are these lessons? At the top, right, and then the topics underneath, and then the widgets uh, beneath beneath it. Okay. Uh, all right. So the middle tier, uh, you'll have a similar uh, register, login, logout, profile, right? Uh, rent uh, implemented in uh, uh, for React in um, oh, Mongo. Oh, okay. All right, we are doing Mongo here. I thought we were we we, uh, we were going to push that. Uh, it's a little later. 
Okay, we'll, 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 we'll build that. Uh, I'll build a lot of this uh, for you here in class. Uh, section, uh, being able to, to, to list all the sections for a particular course. Uh, for instance, being able to create a particular uh, section for a course, uh, being able to re re retrieve all the sections in a particular course, you know, how many sections are there in a particular course, uh, be able to retrieve a particular section or update a particular section. I, I should be able to maybe change the name of the section, maybe set, uh, change the, uh, the, uh, how many seats are available in a particular section, uh, or just close a section that says, no, that section is no longer available. Um, uh, enrollment, I should be able to see uh, from a student's point of view, say that a particular student is enrolled in a particular section. Right? Uh, or uh, retrieve uh, uh, from a particular student, see all the sections that that particular student is enrolled in. Right? So I can see, hey, give me all, all the sections that this, this student is enrolled in. Uh, or unenroll from a section. You know, given a particular student, I should be able to unenroll from a particular section. Right? So those, those three uh, particular uh, uh, so that's from the fr that's from the server's point of view, okay. All right, and and we'll 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 work on this uh, together uh, all next week uh, to get you started on that. All right, all right, awesome.